Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Hey guys and welcome back to Streaming with Sachin. Today we'll be looking at what dropped in the first half of Feb, which was big on variety but not so much on quality. But first a quick look at some cool streaming news. Disney Plus, the official streaming platform of this teeny tiny startup called Disney, will officially be launching in India at the end of March because that's exactly what we need right now, right? One more streaming platform. While we don't know exactly what that's going to look like and whether they'll have any original content for India, what we do know is it'll give us access to all the cool stuff on their platform like the Star Wars spin-off series The Mandalorian which you guys were watching anyway, but now you get to do it legally. A new platform will also launch soon in the US called Quibi, focusing on short form content with episodes between 5 to 10 minutes. They've already dropped a bunch of new trailers for their first set of shows, making this the first time a trailer for a show was almost the length of the entire show. But in India, Dice Media is already way ahead of the game with their 1 minute show called Firsts. When I say why stop there? Make like 5 second episodes and 2 minute seasons. Soon you'll see like the Vine version of Breaking Bad and Snapchat Stranger Things and TikTok True Detective and I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Anyway, back to this month's releases. Like a diabetic at Baskin Robbins, let's dive straight in, shall we? We begin with Netflix which had Karan Johar's new dating reality show What the Love, which again, I assure you, is an actual thing. I checked multiple times. The format is simple. Karan Johar schools a bunch of selected single people on how to find love. He first sits down with them and somehow manages to understand more about their insecurities and relationship issues in like 6 minutes than a therapist would in an entire lifetime. He then puts them through like a love improvement factory where they're given makeovers, new clothes, get dating advice from famous people like Saif Ali Khan, Arjun Kapoor and Sunny Leone before going on to actual dates and hopefully finding someone special. In many ways, it's a great concept. I mean, who doesn't want to be mentored by Karan Johar on matters of the heart, right? And as always, he makes a great host But when you really think about it, the whole show is essentially just Karan Johar and his famous friends telling regular people how they're shit and fixing their personalities and wardrobe shaming them. Also, what sucks is these participants aren't idiots like you'd hope for from the best kind of so bad it's good reality TV. On the splits villa scale of roadies to regular people, they're kind of like regular people. But most of all, what the love suffers from the one thing reality show should never be. Just kind of boring. It just doesn't fill the innate need of trashy TV that we all have and certainly doesn't justify 7 episodes of 45 minutes each. I could make it past 3 episodes. But I for one think that they should keep this concept going and have like new reality shows where Anurag Kashyap mentors gangsters and Sanjay Leela Bansali schools interior designers and Suraj Bajatia coaches like families, Imtiaz Ali teaching travel agents and Rohit Shetty mentoring explosions. Moving on, there was Netflix's latest fantasy series Lock and Key based on the popular graphic novel of the same name. Stop me if this sounds familiar. A family moves into a mysterious house in the middle of nowhere and weird stuff starts happening until three young siblings find a bunch of magic keys that do magic stuff and transport you anywhere or like make you a ghost or make you go into your own head. But as always there are dark forces at work who are also after the keys. The only real mystery here is why do white people always move into these big creepy secluded mansions? Do they not watch horror movies? That aside, Lock and Key just falls flat. The story is conventional and unremarkable and you don't really feel anything for any of the characters. The main young kid called Bodhi especially is more annoying than adorable and there's like a bajillion loopholes in how this whole magic and key stuff works. Clearly Netflix doesn't always get it right with its American shows either. This one didn't really pass the 3 episode test. On to Amazon Prime Video which had a new Indian original series called Of Source. Starring the painfully underrated Gulshan Devaya and Anjali Patel, Of Source is easily one of the most unique and intriguing Indian web series yet. The show is a dark comedy that follows one man's repeated failed attempts to kill himself until he hires an assassin to finish the job. before changing his mind and deciding he wants to live leaving him to sort this whole mess out but that's just the start there's also like monks and mysticism and magical elixirs and immortality and secret organizations and it just gets crazy and crazy as it goes on but i have to say i had a bit of a tough time and conflicting experience with the show on the one hand it's a must watch for just how absurd and original and refreshing it is and how rarely we see dark humor done so well in india but on the other hand i found it increasingly tough to stick to as the plot gets more and more confused and crowded and just batshit crazy as it goes on and eventually it just falls to what feels like random violence and killing i just couldn't keep up with it and what it was trying to say and i'm sure it has some deeply profound things to say about like mortality and death and maybe i'm just an idiot but they all went straight over my head but even when it doesn't exactly work and make sense there's still so much going on that it always keeps you on your toes and it's never dull and it has some really great performances and overall it's still a show i recommend just for how inventive and ambitious it is next we come to ashish sakia's new stand up special life is good on amazon prime video Despite releasing pretty much one every month, I can't remember the last time I saw a truly great Indian comedy special from Amazon Prime Video, and this certainly wasn't it. The AIB comic special was mundane and forgettable and just didn't pack enough laughs or meaning. 
It just felt like more of the same, talking about things like Bollywood and masculinity, and mainly talking about getting older, which seems to be what all male comics are talking about these days. Recent specials from Rohan Joshi and Kunal Rao were also along similar lines. For me, Ashish Sakya's special worked best when it was at its most personal, like when his bit about growing up as a dark-skinned child. And there are other strong moments in individual jokes, but not enough to justify an hour-long special. Also, what's with this trope of comics feeling the need to get like randomly deep and profound at the end of their specials? When it doesn't work, it just feels gimmicky and forced. I for one wish that this one lived up to its title, but Life is Good felt like a big swing and a miss. Last but not least, on to Alt Palaji, which had a new show called Class of 2020. The show follows three friends and their constant attempts to get laid, or think about getting laid, or plan on getting laid, or talk about getting laid, you get the idea. While also following the relationship drama of the other students from the batch. What the show wants to be is a fun coming of age sex comedy like American Pie or Sex Education. What it actually is, is crass, problematic, tacky, and at times just uncomfortable. To give you an idea about the students that go to Denobly High, they all look like dropouts from the student of the year class of you know, the standard all abs, no personality, played by actors in their late 20s. But All Palaji has always been the most unapologetically in your face OTT platform. But I've always wondered, why is it called OTT platform? Like, and wouldn't that technically make Alt Palaji an OTT OTT platform? See, these, uh, these are the questions. This is why I'm here. Just to give you an idea of the show, there's one track in the first two episodes which involves a student repeatedly pressurizing his classmate to take her clothes off. At one point, even forcibly dragging her to the school storeroom. When she consistently resists, he eventually tries to kill himself. Cut to the hospital where the doctors have saved his life and his parents are asking him why, leading him to make a funny speech about how he just wanted to get some ass and how he's a real victim. Clearly, all Palaji knows how to deal with serious issues like consent and suicide with the sensitivity of an Indian family WhatsApp group. That's all for this time, but this month still has some cool stuff. To celebrate Valentine's Day, it's raining love stories with Netflix's new series Taj Mahal 1989 and MX players Pavan and Pooja. Netflix also has a promising new film called Ye Ballet, which essentially looks like Gully Boy meets Billy Elliot meets Step Up, and I'm so sold. I'll see you guys next time. Happy streaming! For more reviews like this from far smarter people, check out Film Companion.